What's up everybody, this is Travis at mybringback.com. Uh, welcome to your 23rd Android tutorial. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get our wallpaper app working. It's not going to be super clean or, you know, beautiful or anything, but it's going to at least work and we're going to we're going to be happy with that. So, we're going to kind of start basically by setting up the button that we set up in XML. Um, so, we're going to define the button by going button and we're going to set it to something like uh, set wall is the variable name. This shouldn't be new. You guys are probably masters at this already and telling all your friends about how to set up buttons and your grandma's like, hey, can you help me set up a button? I'm trying to program for Android. And you're like, yeah, grandma, I can do that. If you can make me some cookies. But anyways, so we're going to do that again by uh, r.id.setwall. Uh, so that's what we set up our very our reference as. Nothing new, like I said. Um, and now we just need to let this set wall button do something. So we're going to say set wall, and we're going to set it equal to or uh, set up the on click listener. So we can do set on click listener, and again we can use this within its parameters because it's looking for an on click listener. As you can see, if you hover over here, it takes within a view on click listener. And so since we implemented an on click listener we can say this and it's gonna look for the implemented on click listener and that's gonna send us down here where we had our switching case so we're just gonna say copy D and we're gonna set this up to uh, ID dot button set wall and this is where we're gonna define where we want um, where we're gonna set up you know set our wallpaper to the, the devices background basically so what we need to do first is basically when you set up a wallpaper it takes in a bitmap to a sense so we're gonna set up a bitmap image and we're gonna call it whatever you wanna call it I'm gonna call it whatever and then we're gonna import this so we can use all the bitmap uh, methods and functions and all that great stuff and one of them, we're gonna, or I'm sorry, we're gonna refer to the bitmap factory again. That's a class within the bitmap, and we can use some of the methods. So we're gonna hit dot, and we're gonna say something called decode uh, stream. You know, you could, we're gonna use decode stream. That's fine. And uh, we also gotta import the bitmap factory so we can use it. Um, sorry, I said it was from the bitmap class, but we have to actually import it because it's a different class. And as we can see right here, it takes within it within it an input stream. So we're going to set that up real quick. So we're going to say input stream, and we're going to call it yeah. So there we go. And what we're going to do is import the input stream. And uh, yeah, that's fine. And what we're going to set this equal to is we're going to say something called get resource. I'll try and explain everything at the end of this tutorial because I know we're typing a bunch of new stuff and you guys are like, what are you doing? Slow down. You know, I don't know what, what's going on here, but I'll try and explain everything at the end. So we're going to use something called get resource and we're going to say open raw resource right here. As you can see, it takes an int as, an, as it's an ID. And we'll get back to this in a second of what we want that um, ID to be. But again, we can say something like r dot drawable um, dot you know one of our our uh, things there. And again, this would just every time we click the button, it it would basically set up this uh, bitmap. Okay. Well, like I said, we we needed an input stream, so we set one up right here. So. We called it yeah, so we're gonna say yeah within its uh, parameters here. So there we go. But uh, again, every time we click the button, now it's just gonna set, set up this bitmap to be uh, the the abstract background, which is our first. So we need a variable that changes according to when our featured boxed image at the very top of our application changes. So we're gonna set that up real quick. But like I said, I wanted to show you guys this. It takes within an int, and you guys are like, "What? I thought an int is a you know a number or something." Um, but also like the find view takes in an int, and if you guys open up your gen folder and go to your R, 
you can see all those variables are actually integers so the computer can recognize it this is just kind of a name that we use so don't get too confused about that you know I just wanted to show you guys that for uh, for those of you who are like oh I thought it was a number only but uh, yeah yeah so that's basically we have up we have our uh, bitmap set up and then once we uh, we're gonna get to this changing variable so in a second here Sorry, I'm all over the place, very unorganized. I apologize. But now, every time we do something sketchy, like I said, um, such as trying to set a wallpaper to the person's phone, we want to use the, something within the try bracket. So we're going to say try, and we're going to. This is where we're going to actually set up or set our wallpaper to the phone. And we're going to do that by saying get application context, and this comes from, or this is basically getting the context of the actual phone. And then we're going to hit dot and we can set, use a method called set wallpaper. So we're going to click that. As you can see, it takes a bitmap. And thankfully, we set up a bitmap already. So we're going to say bitmap whatever. And again, I'll try and explain everything at the end. But it also has given us an error because we need either a finally or a catch. So I'm just going to say catch. Um, and we're going to use the IO exception and we're going to have to import that but we're going to call it exception E and uh, I might have already imported it but okay no I didn't and then we're going to import that and we're going to just going to use just the standard print uh, stack trace method again that's for debugging we'll get into that stuff later but it doesn't really matter so there we go we kind of have our button set up so right now it will set the abstract every time we click the button even if our featured image is changing so we're gonna have to fix that but also before we get to that we, when we're setting wallpaper to the person's phone we need to ask permission um, basically or set up a permission so I want you guys to open up the Android manifest and you can do this two ways I'm gonna show you the easy way where you just click this permission tab down here hit add and uses permissions or uses permission and you can use all of these permissions right here so if we wanted to access the internet we'd have to set up one of these uses permission uh, internet but we want one that says set wallpaper so we're going to click that and it's basically added if you guys switch over to XML this is where it added the line so you can type it manually as well um, you just want to make sure it's outside of the application bracket and there we go we set up our uh, permission and again this isn't going to like pop up a display and say hey are you sure you want to do this this permission only comes up when the person downloads your app it's going to show them what permissions that uh, the program needs and if they want to download it they can at their own risk for the most part so there we go now we set this up all we want to do now is set a variable that changes um, its resource so we're going to say set up a variable called to phone now it's going to not know what that is so we're going to have to set that up above our on create method. So we're going to say int because again that takes an int and we're going to say to phone and then what we want to do is basically set up that to phone variable to be the first image that pops up on our XML and our first image was also image 1 so we're going to use the drawable of image 1 so right below the set content we're going to say to phone equals r dot drawable dot uh, abstract which was our first image if you guys have it the same if not you know you're gonna have to figure out what your first image was and now I'm just gonna copy and paste this because every time we change our featured image at the top of our app it's gonna go through this switching case so we can easily just set up what the drawable is in there or our new int to phone variable so again the first one is back app abstract second one you know that um, back apple or whatever I'm just gonna copy oh well copy and paste that I'm just gonna copy and paste for all these and then change the resources so again this is just the resource that will or this is the variable that's going to change every time our new featured image gets changed and it's basically going to set 
set up our uh, our bitmap and then that bitmap is what's going to be used to change the wallpaper oh crap crap all right no i don't want to edit it in the r java copy and paste it's kind of tedious there's probably there's a better way we could have done this but you know i think this is kind of a good learning experience for the most part and we basically have everything set up so I'm just going to save it and run it, make sure it works. I know we covered a lot of stuff in this tutorial and I didn't really explain anything yet, but I'm going to. So our, here's our application, hit tutorial 3, and let's say we want to set up I Love Cheese. Set that as background image, and you might want to create a toast also when you click that button. You guys can do that if you want. We're going to hit the home button and look at that our background image has been set so that's pretty sweet I'm not gonna break it down this this tutorial I'll do it in the next one I promise but there we go uh, I'll see you guys next tutorial peace